What's hanging and dangling there, home skillets? It's P squared here, so it has been a fuck ton forever since I've told a story on here. So I thought I'd I thought I'd share the time when I was almost accidentally racist in public. Now what? Now I know what you're thinking. P squared, you living proof that bald people are fucking hot. How the hell can you be accidentally racist in public? To that I answer. The same way that you can accidentally have sex, you know, some woman trips over, and then you trip over, and your penis falls in your vagina 87 times by accident. You know, accidents do happen. It happens. So this happened a good three months ago. I was just visiting my favorite cafe. Um, I was getting my favorite sandwich, you know, delectables of this great establishment. So the waiter there, he usually works in the back. He's taking my order, and he's a little on the Asian-y side. So I, I give him my order, you know, so I can enjoy my food. And this guy, hardcore, is giving this computer screen the weirdest look. Like, like he is like hardcore glaring and squinting at the at the exact same time. And the look that he was given, and the look that he was giving this computer, it looked like that. That computer had like sexually molested like his fucking cereal that morning. Just really intense look. I wanted to ask him, you know, hey, hey, man, is are, are you okay? Look, that computer has wronged you in some way. And at this point, the guy looked at me and noticed this weird look that I was giving him. And he, uh, and he says, you know, sorry for the wait here. I forgot my glasses at home. And at that moment, I stopped myself from saying probably one of the worst phrases to ever say in public. At least the top five, anyways. I remember word for word what I was going to tell this poor guy of Asian descent. I almost said, yeah, I can tell by how hard you're squinting. And the second that thought crossed my mind, I could just hear the powerful suction of the wind just blow through the shop. And then I realized it was my ass. I could practically hear someone in the back just taking out their phone and Facebook living that shit of the piece of shit that was a racist right there in public. I could practically hear people just throwing out those newspaper headlines. Local faggot is a flaming racist. Who'd have thought? This all happened in the span of about, I'd say, three or four seconds. And all I can really tell the guy is, <gasps> Oh, yeah, that's too bad, man. That fuck, that really blows. I get my sandwich, and I sit down for at least 15 minutes. I just sit there with this, this apparent poker face. As I realized the Armageddon I had almost unleashed on myself. And almost became the local pariah. So at some point, I'm able to finish my food, head on for home, and tell my friends and family the tale of how I almost became an accidental racist, and all they and all they almost heard about me in the local headlines. They all got a really big hoot out of it, and I gotta say, I don't blame them. <laughs> That's pretty much the end, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Um, and yeah, take care, guys. See you around. Peace.